This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Drawing all of these windows individually would be a pain. Yeah, that's a big house. Uh, try solving this puzzle by creating draw a window and calling it five times. Watch out for the door. Calling it means asking it to run, where we say its name over here, and the computer jumps over and runs all the code inside. Each window is made up of four 25 pixel squares. The top windows are a 100 pixel jump away from each other. Okay. 25 pixel squares. That must be these little parts. Um, or is that the big... Oh no, that must be the big part. Uh, the bottom windows are 150. So this is 25. Let's just test that to start because I'm not really sure. Actions, move forward. Uh, let's say... Let's say 25 and see how big that is. Oh, okay, so it's the smaller part. All right, so that is one small square. Okay, so let's do, to draw a square, it has four sides. How much? They only want us to use 18 blocks. Okay, wow. It has four sides, right? So we're gonna move forward by 25, and then we're gonna wanna turn Oh, oh, oh. Well, no, they start us off there. Yep, let's do 25. And then we're going to want... Uh, once we move forward by 25, we're going to turn left. And then we want to repeat that four times to get our square. So let's just test as we go here. Yep, and so draw a window, zoop, draws that square of the window. All right, now we want to do that. What if I did... Oh, whoops. Okay, so we're facing... All right. Well, then I want to not be facing this way. I want to draw the next part of the window. So let's go ahead and turn right. Let's see. And then how many parts of a window are there? There are four squares to a window, so let's use another loop four. And hopefully we'll draw the whole window. Not sure. Let's give it a shot. But ah, uh, so we're drawing four squares, and then after this draws the four. Okay, draw a window. Zoop. Repeat four times. Oh, okay. Repeat four times. Move forward, 25, turn left. Zoop, once, twice. And this draws our four sides. Once it draws the four sides, that's four times. So we're done. It drops below. We turn right 90 degrees. We hit the bottom of this. Zoop, zoop. And we draw it all again, drawing another little square of the window. And then turning right and getting a full window. Now, each window is how much apart? 100. Okay, actions. How many blocks? We've used eight. Jump forward a hundred and then after that let's do draw a window and test this okay so far so good and then we're gonna actions jump not move actions jump forward by a hundred and function draw a window that should droop, droop, yep one window two window three window <laughs> All right, and then how far, oh, you know what? Just because I'm not sure how much code we can actually use, look at this, and it's just better coding. Jump forward, 100, draw a window. Jump forward, 100, draw a window. So we're doing the same thing twice in a row, which we shouldn't do in code because instead we could use a loop. Oops, once, twice. And zoop, save some lines. That should do the same thing that we've been doing. Now we're just going to tell it to run that twice. Perfect. And now we want to jump below 150 because the bottom windows are 150. We're going to turn right 90 and then jump to here. 
hopefully. Um, and then once we jump here, let's see what happens. I'm not sure this, okay. Let's go ahead and draw a window. And then we end up there. And then we're gonna go ahead and, oh, we don't have a ton of blocks left. Let's turn to the right by 90. And then how big of a jump is this? So that must be 150 apart again, I think. I'm not a, completely sure, but I think that's 150. So do that. Once I jump forward 150, we can, well, I think we're going to ask the function to run again. Okay. So what this hopefully does is when I hit run, as you've seen, we'll draw the window. Zoop, it runs through this code, repeats four times. That it draws each block, right? This draws each side of these little blocks. Then once it draws a side, we turn right, zoop, repeat that four times, drawing four little blocks, which create our window. Hit the bottom. Once we draw that, zoop, we're going to repeat this two times, which is us just jumping forward, drawing another window, jumping forward, drawing another window. Once we're done with that, we drop below it. We'll turn right, so we face the bottom. We jump forward 150, which gets us here. We're going to draw a window here. Then we're going to turn right, which will hopefully face this window. Jump another 150, and then draw a window, zoop, which will draw a final window. I guess we'll find out. Oh, that obviously wasn't enough to tell us how far. Uh, let's say 200 because it was close. Oh, of course it's 200 because of course it's 200. Ooh, and I we did it in 18 because it's 100 then 100 up here. So that makes sense that this would actually be 200. That one was tricky. Awesome. Let's keep going.